Hello. I'm not going to save this. This is just a random thing I literally decided to do right now. But hello, friends. I'm bored as fuck. Obviously. I don't know if you guys are getting pinned with the content, my fucking brilliant content creation that I've got going on right now. Like, you know, sometimes I just feel really inspired by, um, you know, filter creation artistry, the level of absurdity that, um, people get to with the with the filter creation it's truly unmatched in my opinion i haven't seen anything quite like it in my time on planet earth and um i mean it's just brilliant so i just i felt like i should give you guys you know just a taste of what i do and usually delete <laughs> I mean, so you guys have um some characters to go through in my <laughs> my story um hi how you guys doing how are you feeling how are you feeling after that eclipse yo that eclipse kicked my ass and no i'm not high <laughs> I'm not high. I'm actually so bare. Can you imagine the personality on me when I'm sober? <laughs> um, I was talking about something. I was talking about the eclipse. How did that eclipse treat you? Let me know. <clears throat> Cause it sincerely knocked me on my ass a little bit and not in like a bad way just in like a a confrontational way you know what i'm saying because i feel like hold on i gotta let the train pass just decided to be thanks buddy um yeah just i feel like i've been transmuting so much shit like <laughs> so much shadow self so much shadow work coming up for me and just kind of like confrontations with like old patterns and old belief systems that I just I realized like so on the day of the Sagittarius new moon which was on Monday I was like in my feels dude I was like what the fuck bitch like you've been on one you've been real confident you've been real like fuck the world energy not in a bad way, like, you know, I love the world, very grateful, but <clears throat> in some, on some, like, no one can fuck with my energy bubble type shit, you know? And then Monday rolled around, and all of my insecurities <laughs> just came to the surface, and they were plaguing me all day in my mind, and I was like, yo, maybe don't do that, maybe leave me the fuck alone, and then I spent, like, all day in that energy, <clears throat> I spoke with my best friend and we were, I was like crying to her on the phone like, I just miss the new community. And I was like feeling, because a lot of what I've been going through is also like isolation. <clears throat> like just being real isolated, obviously because of the pandemic. So like, first and foremost. But second of all, because of like just, you know when you pray for shit to fall out of your life and God listens and you're just like, okay, I didn't mean like that fast. You know, like you could have... This could have been a slow process. This could have been a little bit of a, you know, of a, of a, of a gradual step. But no, like, God really be answering prayers. And the ancestors are like, okay, you want me to do that? Let's do it. It's not going to be the way you see it, but I'm going to do it my way. And I'm always like, okay. So anyways, I was like super compounded by all those energies and really like, actually letting myself feel it you know what i'm saying because a lot of the time i try to just be like fuck it i'm good i'm not stressed hair's falling out stress pimple but i'm not stressed what the fuck is stress what does even what does stress even mean i don't have that Psh, i'm just gonna go over here okay relax stop stress who's that sleep patterns no one has them 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like there, no one has a regular sleep pattern. It's not just me. Um, no, but I was really confronted with all that shit. And I was feeling a little queasy. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit like, wait a minute. No, I've worked past this. I've worked through this. Leave me the fuck alone. And then I took a workshop, full, a new moon workshop <clears throat> that uh, my friend Chris does. I linked it in my, in my shits. What is this called? The, um, my story. So I hope you all did it too. Or at least some of y'all. It's 10,000 of you. If 10,000.1 of you, what the fuck? First of all, hi. Um, I literally did not expect the plethora of y'all to be here. Thank you for joining me. But, um, <laughs> uh, wow. I really hadn't checked that number yet. Oh, and it, it fell. Okay, bye. It's good. Thank you. That let's end my nerves a bit. Okay, we're back. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, if all of you guys did that new moon workshop pitch, we would all be vibrating at a much higher frequency, okay? Because slowly but surely, it's like the 10K of you send it to 10K people that you know, and then it's all of a sudden, it's 20K people that are doing it. And then all of a sudden, we're just vibrating on a higher frequency because fuck it. Let's live in 5D instead of 3D. It's a vibe. And it's happening anyways, so you might as well. Anyways, that shit got me all the way together. All the way. Also, Big Empress Energy. Shout out. She does amazing readings that are just some tarot cards that just knock you off your fucking ass sometimes. I love that shit. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I got all the way together with that new moon setting, like writing down my intentions. And this eclipse was really about like, what are we finally letting go of? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we finally not allowing to control our narrative so that we can step out of that and into our power right so it's funny because i was confronted by all those things and i allowed not i allowed but i i let my energy be taken by those feelings you know what i'm saying instead of trying to pretend that i'm not feeling them like i actually like let myself feel the feels and then i let them out on a piece of paper and i lit a candle about it and there it goes. And there it goes into the ether. It's a really good song. I just be writing like jingles. I, I need some of these companies. I know like y'all like to hit people up because of beauty and everything, and I know I'm cute and everything, and you should you should definitely run me a check for that. But also, bitch, I can make your jingle, okay? Some of these companies nowadays, especially these Instagram promoted companies, okay, y'all are slacking because I remember back in the day, okay, I needed to get hooked with a jingle before I even thought about your fucking product, <laughs> okay? I don't know about y'all, but that for me was everything. Like, <clears throat> like, I'll never forget who Stanley Steamer is. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer makes your home cleaner. Correct? You all knew that. I, I sang that and y'all all were like, Ooh, I, you finished it with me. You, you started singing it with me. I can tell by the hearts. I already know. You know? So anyways, brands, <clears throat> hit me up. Let me write your jingles. Give, you know, I could do it for you. I could do it real good. You know, I'll sing them for you if you're if you're worthy. I won't tell you. Well, shit, I just give myself away. Because I'm down to write a jingle for anybody, really. Um, but but I'm not really al <laughs> aligned with a lot of the people who want a jingle, as far as what y'all do um, morally. So so, in that regard, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'll still write your jingle. Maybe. Hit me up. Do you guys remember um, Hillshire Farms? Go me, me, go me, me, go me, me, go me, me. No, you know what? I'm not even going to let y'all capture that. <clears throat> but I know you know what I'm talking about. Someone said, can I maybe draw you? Of course. I'm a public figure, honey. My face is everywhere without my consent. So you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Apparently, that's what they say. I'm just kidding, but you can definitely draw me. I love getting drawn. 
drumming, paint me like one of your French models. Is that what it, I, I, I think I butchered that shit. It paint me like one of your French women, French girls. Guys, hand me the line. Hand me the line so I can re-deliver. I know I fucked up. Come on, somebody. Somebody's got to be here with me. También hola a todos los que hablan español, porque sé que todo el mundo me está preguntando que habla español, pero también tengo mucha gente que me siguen que habla español, so, buenas, mucho gusto. No soy tan graciosa en español. Y ahora, ahora mismo tengo el mongo subido un poco, so, I'm wilding a little bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. You feel me? Pero we can inter-switch. We can go in and out. Because we're bilingual, bitch. Okay. <clears throat> ooh, 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 ooh. Um, ask me a question. Mándame una pregunta. Si quieres. Pero tu Spanglish es hermoso, gracias mami. Eso lo practiqué mucho, el Spanglish en la casa. Así, ahí se hablaba Spanglish. Cuando llegaban los abuelos, español. Porque mi abuela no me dejaba hablar ningún inglés con ella. Ella como que, ¿qué? ¿Qué me dijiste? ¿Con quién hablas? No, yo no te conozco, sorry. Pero ella sí sabía hablar, sabía escribir. Sabía comunicarse en, en inglés, pero jamás, siempre, nunca me hablaba en inglés. Ella me dijo, o sea, tú vas a hablar español y lo vas a entender y lo vas a poder, tú vas a poder expresarte en español. No va a ser como que, o oh, esa niña es cubana, no, tú eres cubana. That's what she told me. So that's why any of y'all motherfuckers trying to tell me I, I, I'm not Latina. My ancestors say a big fuck you. <laughs> A big fuck you to you. But I hope you claim your ancestors too because that shit is important. Those are the people who really, really are out here guiding us and giving us so many blessings on blessings on blessings. It would be so rude of me to deny them. So rude. So rude. How rude. Where's that from? I just have these like movie lines for you guys with zero percent context. Be whipping them out. I love you guys. I never talk to you guys, but I love you guys. Oh, uh, we're almost at 12k. Okay. Hello, babies. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the fireside. Well, we're not fireside. Um, I'm like by a big TV set, so it kind of like shines a hue on my face that gives the illusion of fire. <clears throat> um, oh, how rude! It's from Full House. You're right, Stephanie. Least favorite character, but but she was she had her moments. She really did. That how rude was classic. Who was who was my favorite character on Full House? Jesse. No, it's a poor connection. Did you guys even get that part? I said Jesse. Uncle Jesse was my favorite because I wanted to fuck him. I might have been a child, but I knew what I wanted. I knew what I wanted, and it was Uncle Jesse. He was a musician. He liked bikes and leather. He was hot as hell. Him and Aunt Becky together. I'll take it. Except maybe not now. I know she's in trouble and shit, but you know, maybe. I really liked them. I liked him more though. I was a little jealous of her back then because I was I was that little bitch that was like, you have a man that I like. I don't like you. Like when I was in love with Nick Jonas as a child and he was dating Miley, I was very upset about it. I was very upset about it. Straight up. I wanted to fight. I don't care. Like, bitch, I, did you write a song about it? I, you did it. You don't have his name on your wall that you wrote in pencil and marker. I don't think so. 
T B motherfucking T. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like little me really wanted to throw hands. Like I almost didn't go to the Hannah Montana concert because I was like, I don't I don't know if I can handle Miley. You know, I'm gonna see my husband there and she's gonna be there and it's just he's she's she's probably gonna be he's probably gonna be really more focused on her than me in my nosebleed section. It's just gonna be really upsetting for me. And then the joke was on me because the Jonas Brothers didn't even open for Miley that day. And guess what? My dumb ass enjoyed the fuck out of that concert because I loved Hannah Montana, bro. I was faking. I was so fake mad, man. I was so fake mad. I love that bitch to this day. <laughs> Ugh, silly little girl. Silly little girl. But now we know all about girl power, right? So now we don't fuck around. Now I'm not going to get mad at a bitch because I like her man. No. I'm going to keep that to myself. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, wow, he's cute. Congrats, mama. You did that. Or vice versa. I'm going to be like, do you need him? Are you sure? Because. You know what I mean? What color should you paint your nails? So this color that I have on right now, I don't know what it's, I think it was called like, actually, I really don't remember what it was called. I do, okay, guys, I do dipping powder on my nails. I don't know if you guys have ever done dipping powder, but if you have not, and you like these long situations, okay, these are my fucking nails. And I say this every time, I don't give a fuck, I'm bragging about it. Yeah, bitch, I'm bragging about it. These are my motherfucking nails. Mine. You see that? Maybe that's not the best angle. Not the best angle. But these are real. This is my only bitch who broke on me that I had to I had to put a tip on. <clears throat> but the rest of these bitches grew from my nail bed. Okay? And the only reason is because of dipping powder. Dipping powder. SNS. They have a lot of other other versions too. But SNS dipping powder shit will change your life. And not only is it growing, it's hard underneath. When they take the shit off, it's not like I got a flimsy ass nail that's about to break the fuck off. No. We've got thickness. You hear that clack? That's a clack, bitch. page <laughs> the power the passion in this conversation yeah bitch i'm passionate <sighs> i am a passionate individual i am indeed i'm also like on a f on one right now like not like literally on one i'm not literally intoxicated um i'm literally bored um quite quite bored Therefore, I did a live, you know, and you, you guys know I got to be a special kind of board to randomly do a live. The feds. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They, they don't know about me. They don't know about the baby. No, no, no. Um, I cannot keep long nails for the life of me. Because you haven't tried dipping powder. Because you haven't tried dipping powder. I didn't know what it was like, okay? I tried acrylics twice. Fucked up my nail. Both times. And I'm a natural bitch. I like natural energy. Like, that's just me. I'm not the type of person that's gonna put artificial things on my body solely for enhancement my natural self also needs to look good in the process so like if that shit came off i can't be like jack the fuck out and that's what happened to me every time i had gel on my hands or acrylic on my hands that shit fell out and when it fell <laughs> when it fell out it took me three months to get my natural bitches back to a point where they even grew past my nail bed you feel me so i don't i don't enjoy that um personally a personal choice like i know that if 
these guys break on me for whatever reason, which is rare. They don't break on me often. It's usually because I got myself into some shit and they broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like one of the ways that my fucking nails break that's so annoying. I literally, guys, I will be trying to get into my Tesla. And, and this car is very unique, okay, in a lot of ways. But one of the most unique ways, one of the ways it's most unique is in how the door handle works. So the door handle pops out of the car and back into the car. It's like a piece of metal that pops in in and out of the car. So it like goes when when you're close to the car and you have the key to open it, and then it'll close back up. Sometimes I pull the handle too far, and because it's like an in and out situation, there's like a hollow space behind it. This is very complicated, so I'm gonna have to show you this probably <clears throat> not right now, but I'll show you one day. And basically, so when you, I pulled it back too fast before, and then it tries to retract, and my nail gets caught in the in the hollow space between between the handle and the door. I'm grateful it hasn't been a finger, but it has been my nail before, and it has literally snapped that shit clean off. Very scary. Very scary. Do not recommend that part of it. Also, terrible customer service. But other than that, I fucking love it. I do. I appreciate not having to pay for gas. That shit adds up, let me tell you. So, I'm speaking very quickly, am I not? I feel like I am. music because I think of what else to talk about um you guys want to see Klee yes I got a lot of likes there Mimi they want to see you laid out look at these patitas look at these patitas Cleo why are you so cute bitch who the fuck asked you to be this cute bitch? Who the fuck? Oh, stretchies. Yes, mama, show them. Oh, you didn't complete it. She didn't complete her whole shavasana. She's usually really into it. Hello, queen. Oh, you're not into it? You don't want to be on camera right now? I mean, but you look damn adorable, honey. Like... God damn, I need to get you some pedigree deal or something. Like, you deserve it. Barkbox. Let me know. Who are the motherfuckers that I gotta be hitting up to give my dog a deal? Because this bitch is pretty. Look at this bitch. Like, I'm just gonna... Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, tell the people how beautiful you are. Tell the people, like, no, this is not a joke at all. The fuck? Bella. 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 She's like, Mom, please. Like, en enough. No, I don't think Cleo taught. I think Cleo. I think Cleo taught like this. I could be wrong, but I feel like if Cleo was to have a conversation with me, I think she'd talk like this to me. That's, that's how I talk to her. But I think she also talks to me like this. Do you guys have specific voices that you use with your dog? I mean, I know that the answer is yes, especially for my fellow white people. But it's like it's a very it's a very real thing. Like I have a real life transition when I speak to her. It's a full on other voice. A full another person comes out of my body. Like, you know your mom when she talks to people over the phone versus, like, to you in person? You know that bitch. It's a completely different bitch. Completely different woman. Completely different woman. I remember when I was really little, the first time I heard my mom talk to someone, like, corporate on the phone, whether I don't even know who the fuck it was. Like, maybe she was making an appointment or something or, like, talking to some mom of a friend who called me, called the house. And I was like, <laughs> she got off the phone and I was like, who was that? Like, who was that person that just came out of you? What voice What voice was that? I've never heard her in my life. And she went right back to being like, mind your own fucking business. 
I talk exactly the same. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm like, okay. Okay, mommy. Okay. Sure. Sure, that was the same woman. Cool. I don't even know if people really know the difference. When I talk to my crabs, I use that one New York mom <laughs> accent. You're talking to your crabs in, in a New York mom accent? First of all, you're going to need to clarify what you mean by your crabs. Like, where are the crabs located? And are they getting fed? Like, do you have them? Are they outside in a tank or inside your house? Do you plan on eating them? Like, what is the deal with those crabs? Like, is like a hermit crab? Because I still think that's interesting. If you speak to your hermit crab in a in a New York mom accent, like that's that is that's some some top lo- top notch energy. I hope you mean live crabs. Of course, she means live crabs. The fuck is gonna be talking to a dead crab? That shit would be weird. Unless you're thanking God for it before you eat it. Don't be talking to your dead crabs, guys. It's really fucked up energetically to be talking to them like that. Like, their soul is not having it. Like, how are you going to fucking talk to me, bitch? Like, you're about to eat me. Like, shut up. Mind your fucking business and do what you got to do. Don't talk to my soul. Like, think about it. Like, that'd be super fucked up. Girl, you good? Hey, mommy. You want to say hi to the people? Say hey, guys. It's been a long day of napping. And I don't want to look at you. But I might. <laughs> but hi. You want love? She doesn't know what she wants. She doesn't know what she wants from me. Except attention. She knows that she wants that. <clears throat> hola, hola. All right, what else can we... Um... Okay, what are you reading recently? As of current, I am reading a book about angels. That's incredibly fascinating. And I'm also reading Queen of Fua's book about self-healing which has been going also amazing hi Nito hello my friend shout out to my friends that are in here I love you hello should I go on live with some of y'all do you guys want to talk but like don't be a weirdo please don't be a weirdo I like when you guys actually talk to me like you know like we're friends I don't like it when you're like ah I love it. Like, I appreciate the enthusiasm 100,000%. But también, it's like, you know, when you're FaceTiming somebody, you just want to be a vibe. You know, you just want to talk. Just talking. Okay. I'm going to look at my requests. How do I look at all my requests, though? Here we go. I have a request. See all requests? Da, 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 da. I'm literally just gonna like zoop, and pick. Did it work? Did it work? It didn't work. Send your. Hi, Lauren. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Renata. Renata, are you from Brazil? Yes. 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 What part? Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, I love that place. I miss you guys. Oh, how are you? Oh. Huh? Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I, you know, I know yeah. that's controversial to say right now, but I'm actually, I'm feeling good. This just, this year has been so much about growth for me and like sitting my ass down and sitting still and being like patient. So I'm yeah. cultivating more peace. 
You know what I mean? Yes. What about you? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm good as well here. Um, we are, um, the situation is not very good because our president is also like shit. Uh, and, Pure shit. But, Just a lot uh, of fucked up dudes around town. <laughs> yeah, he's like Trump, you know? Eek. Yeah. Eek. Yeah, no, for sure. But, Wilson not a, not a cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. But um, I'm watching a lot of movies. And yeah, I just hang out with my dog. <laughs> yes. Hanging out with the dog. That's literally been my MO. This whole entire fucking quarantine is just me hanging out with my dog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What kind of dog do you have? Beagle. A beagle? Yeah. Can um, I see? I, I want to see the baby. Ah, she's here sleeping. Wait. Oh, she's sleeping. <laughs> 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 I love how dogs like plop themselves like they little blobs when they sleep. Look, Cleo looks like a blob right now, too. Look at this. Like a um, literal blob. Oh, uh, how cute. Little blob. <laughs> all right well it was and nice talking to you do you have anything you want to ask me or anything you miss brazil hell yeah i have i have, I have never been um to your concert but yeah we will. we're gonna manifest this together we're gonna have I concerts believe. in the future and when the future when we have concerts you're gonna be there and i'm gonna be like yes oh Hello. you're so sweet I feel like when I say your name, Thank though, you. a lot of people are gonna be like, "Yes!" Because I feel like there's a lot of Kanatas <laughs> in Brazil. I uh, thank you, Lauren. Thank you. I, I I was not as expecting expecting, but yeah, this made my night for sure. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, nice to meet you, baby. I hope I see you soon. Thank you. Love you. I Bye, love you, Angel. Lauren. Love you. So cute. So cute. Oh my gosh. Alguien dijo, no tengo mascotas, se los robaron. Qué lástima, amor. Qué triste. Oh my God, yo me perdería la mente si alguien se llevó a Cleo. En serio. Lloraría siempre por siempre I would also kill that person I would literally kill them I would find them somehow some way my mother instincts would come in and be like where's my dog and I would feel instinctually where to go okay okay we're gonna hear some more requests. Yeah. I'm gonna do like three more people. Three more people. Oh, let's go, Paige. Let's go, Paige. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? What's up? Um, What's up? I like Hello. requested. I didn't think that you'd actually do it. This is like heavy. Well, I did it. Well, I did it. So, okay. What's up? How are you? Is it daytime where you're at? Yeah, I'm like, I'm about to go to this like cabaret. I'm performing in a cabaret tonight. How fun? Wait, where are you that you can perform at a cabaret tonight? Um, New Zealand's like normal. Wow. Imagine having a <laughs> female, a, a woman as your president or prime minister in your case. Yeah, she's amazing. Like, yeah, it's just, it's just such a concept, like the concept of like a competent person who cares about her people. It's just like such a cool idea. It's funny, like I find it weird that it's not like that really anywhere else. I was like, I was talking to my friends today and I was like, man, isn't it so weird that like, I was watching a video from, of people in parliament and they're so dumb. 
but like so some of these senate senators or whatever the fuck i'm like who <laughs> who are you who where did you come from why do you call yourself a public servant who are have you, you serving have you seen that video of some guy that about global warming not being real because he grabs snow outside he grabs a snowball and he's like this shows that the world's not getting warm. So the brain cells were below zero as well. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. That's what like roughly in the negative. Yeah. Roughly. I mean, <sighs> yeah. Oh my God. That's how when I see that like doomsday clock in New York. I'm just like, what the fuck is this doing? We all know. Right. We know what's up. Like, let's just leave the, the constant reminder out of this. You know, like, let us, let us not, let us all pretend we don't know about our impending doom and we'll be fine. I didn't even think there was one. Do you know what the time is? I know it's like seven years, bro. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to like, get like, my shit. I don't know. I think I want to hit my like mid thirties before the whole world ends. Like I, I, mm, I want to maybe make it to 40. I want to make it to 30 at least. At least, right? Like maybe a 30 would be good. How old, yes. how, how old are you? I'm 23. Oh, so you're in the same boat. You know what I'm saying? Like seven years and you, you just made it. Barely made it. Are you 23? I'm 24. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so I have I ended up being 28. I mean, you're not there yet. So chill. Like, you know, we could slow right. down on the 28. You got mad time. Okay. <laughs> That's what I tell myself too. So you just gotta show. I'm turning 25 next year, bro. Like. What what month? June. June twenty seventh. Oh, Cancerian. Yes. See. And you're what? I'm a cancer as well. I know I think we've talked about this. I feel like we've talked about this. <laughs> like from responding to each other in DMs about zodiac things. Oh man, that's that so typical though. Like but like, as soon as I meet <laughs> I'm evil. Are we are we the same sign? Are we similar signs? Are we compatible signs? All of these yeah. are important. Because if you're in Aries, I don't know. I don't know if Girl, you're gonna I like I dated an Aries once. It was, you? yeah. Ooh. But it was not so beautiful. It's like, it was, it was fire and water. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it could help you balance out in a confident way. Learn like, a lot about yourself too. I yeah. Think. I learned a lot. <laughs> And they're more sure of themselves. I feel like me, I'm not, I like, I actually wrote a song about wanting to be queer. Wanting to be what? An Aquarius? Aquarius? Oh, that's an interesting perspective. That's an interesting concept. Yeah, I thought it was like fun to write about because I feel like every, every Aquarius has like their shit together. You know what I mean? You know what? I do know a lot of Aquarius that have their shit together. Now that you mentioned that, like most of the Aquarius that I know are pretty fucking amazing people. Yeah. I feel like both. I go, what? Feel like a, bo a boss. Sorry, my accent might be like. A what? A boss? B O S. A boss. <laughs> a boss. Understood. A Understood. Boss. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. They are bossy as hell. Love that. I've also been vibing with Sagittarius lately. I don't know if it's because we're in the season, but I really do fuck with them. I, I like Sagittarius because they feel, I feel like every Sagittarius that I know is what they, what they think. And I love that. And they also get really love. Yeah, my cousin's a Sagittarius and he's the shit. I love him. Oh, male, male Sag? Male Sag. Male mm. Sag. A vibe. I don't know. Is. Look into it. I mean, men oh. men are interesting to navigate, but some of them are really worthwhile. Oh, Piscean, Piscean men. Piscean men. I don't know if I've met any Piscean men. Oh, I'm like, I might have. beautiful, delicate, delicate, delicate for sure. Lovely. Delicate. The water signs, man. We just we just really yeah. lose ourselves in That's that flow. <laughs> In that us. passion. <laughs> How Love. has your life been though, besides pandemic? Because you're, uh, you're now out of the pandemic. Is that how it's working over there? Like, it's just like, oh, we're good. 
Yeah, well, like, everything's normal. It, it was funny because I was talking to, um, I was talking to somebody yesterday and I was like, everything, I forget that overseas people are still locking down and can't go anywhere because we're doing, I'm doing a, tour, like, I'm doing a summer tour. So, like, we're going to, like, stadium shows and stuff. So it's like no. oh, stadium shows. Yes, let's go stadium shows. Okay, Paige. No, but I mean the, I'm supporting, so it's not mine. But what the fuck ever, yeah. you're in a stadium, bitch. It doesn't you're even matter. Right. You better right. give yourself those props, ma'am, because you're there, you're present, and you deserve it. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna it, it's, yeah, it's gonna be like because we're in summer at the moment, so. Tim, should I should I move to New Zealand? Is that what's happening right now? Yeah, we um our um yeah our prime minister. I love. Her. She like, is a vi so she's a vi politically I was solid like the, like aesthetically you're super on point. <laughs> yeah, she's like, like it's a beautiful place. Yeah, because you've been here, right? Yeah, I've been I've been one time. I went one time. Uh, but I need to go again. It was just literally one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think there needs to be a re-up. Yeah. There yes. needs to be a re-up of all over the world on my own terms, on my own tour. Oh, my yeah. Shit. <laughs> Making yeah. my own time to do what the fuck I want. <laughs> have, you done, have you done your own tour, like, overseas? I have not. So I, I opened for Halsey in South America. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Like, straight out of being in the group. So I had, like, no songs at the time. <laughs> so I performed, like, three of the songs that, like, I had at the time. One of them was Expectations, though, so that was about Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then, but after that, dude, I was supposed to go on tour this year. Surprise, surprise, everyone who's watching. And that shit just <laughs> canceled. Yeah. But canceled. Like, maybe, did, do you think it gave you a time to reflect as an artist? Like, girl, it gave me time to do a lot, even beyond artistry. I feel like, I feel like what's gonna come out of me after this moment is gonna be where I really get to dive into my artistry. I've written a lot here and there, but like, the majority of the processing has been incredibly spiritual and physical. Yeah. Even like, I've had gra to grapple with my health a lot this year, mm -hmm. um, in ways that I had never had to do in my life. You know what I'm saying? So. It's been interesting to like learn my body and listen to my body and be in my body because I had not ever really done that. I'd always yeah. just kind of been floating through life, you know, like very unaware of the space that my body took up, like very much living in like my mind and spiritual self. So this, yeah. this year has taught me a lot about my physical and and spiritual bitch. <laughs> like the whole thing. <laughs> So, do you like, hear the oh, like, fish slapped by the universe. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. I feel but the I'm, same. I'm excited to, like, purge it. That's the next phase after mm. I finish up this music. Yes. Do you, like, so do you think, do you think that you're going to have an opportunity to tour next year? I mean, if God allows it. To be honest, I, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't really know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be happening. I hope so, though. Like, I really do hope that, you know, Biden can get shit at least situated to a point where we can move in a in a less chaotic direction than, you know, a man standing places with no mask and just fueling like really crazy conspiracy theories so that he can get money out of the populace. That shit is so wild to me. Yeah, like, man, I actually, like, I had to stop looking at, like, American politics because it's so fucked up. Like, everything's so opposite. Like, it's so scary. Yeah, I can't believe it's real. Like, it just, it seems like a piss tank. Like a... Yeah, piss you know? tank. That's a great observation, yes. I, I feel like it's a, it's a big yellow tank full of piss. <laughs> Maybe some deuces in there as well, honestly. Yeah. Like, like a couple people, like, you know when you're in a bathtub and like, like <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have done that. That's how it feels. Yeah, <laughs> that happened, of course, when we were children, but you know, all the time. <laughs> we remember the experience. Um, <laughs> you're lying if you don't remember. But like. <laughs> you're lying if you don't remember that first time that you tried to shit in the bathtub and that was not the move. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, fuck, some, some fucking American politicians are still doing that shit, clearly, in the brain. <laughs> this, this is not well. They're just not. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, really, guys? This is leadership? Are you sure? Or is this, are we just run by, oh, we're an oligarchy? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. The corporations can take all the money. <laughs> yeah, give it to them. Yeah, that's pretty, like, yeah. It, it's only weird, like, looking at it on the side of the world because everything's so different here. Like, how it, in ways, like, there's, we've got shit in the too that's fucked up, but, like, it's still, like, how it should be. Mm. And then you look over there and you're like, fuck, how, how does this happen and how do you have these views and shit? Just fuck. Shit's crazy. Shit is crazy. But we're ascending. So that's what we're going to focus on is the five things that we're going towards. We're going to rise up. You got to hit all the way rock bottom to get to a point where you're like, oh, maybe I need to change. You know? Well, that, that's why I thought that like 2020, like all this 2020 shit. 2020 was rock bottom. Yeah, but it was, it was like necessary. Hell yeah. Some, yeah, to like kind of reevaluate shit. I think so. I think majorly. I also think a lot of people just realize the value of a lot of things that they had forgotten were important, you know, like, yeah. like that we really took for granted. Yeah. Like, even just the casual, like, meet up with the fam, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, are you in, are you in Miami? Mm -hmm. no? Yeah. Yeah. How's that? Um, great. It's been a little isolating, but also interesting because I've connected a lot with my inner child out here. Oh, yay. And then a lot of healing on that part, so. Because you're, are you originally from Miami? Yeah, born and raised here. Yes. Born and was, raised. Every and time I think Miami, I just think of, like, party. Oh, yeah, bitch. They party. They're still partying. They don't give a fuck out here. <laughs> They don't mm. give a single fuck out here in Florida. Not one you know, fuck is given. Yo, the, the governor literally just arrested like a top data scientist because she said real numbers. <laughs> <laughs> like they literally had a motherfucking squad of police show up, co like cocked guns, like arresting this girl after telling him them that her two kids were upstairs. They whip out their guns. After telling her them that there was two kids upstairs. Yeah. And they arrested this bitch off of, like, a fake text that she never sent. It was because Fuck. of a text message about data. That, oh, was, that's... that was real data. <laughs> but it wasn't even what? what she did. It's really fucking wild. Oh, that's so fucked up. I can't see, like, that doesn't sound real. That sounds fucked. It's super <laughs> dystopian, right? I'm like, bitch, I want to hop out of the book. I'm I'm done with this chapter. I'm I'm yeah. really I, I don't like this ending. Can we rewrite? Who's, well, who's where's the screenwriter? I'd love to talk to them. We've had a great time, but you know it's about time we just wrap this up. It's, we're good. Yeah. Thank it's you. Full. Dates is just like a film. That's what it's just like. It seems like a literal like a literal movie. Yeah, like a massive piss take. Exactly the piss tank. We're back at. But. Yeah, I think next year is gonna be sick though. I have I have really good vibes. Let's. I'm with that. I'm I'm gonna double your vibes, and I'm also gonna go and talk to another fan because they're out here wanting to talk to me. Oh yeah, and okay. we're having like a, a whole little kiki. We need to hang out one day in the future. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's okay. necessary. Over in New Zealand. Peace, lovely. Great talking Bye. to you. Bye. Hello. Stop being rude to my friend, guys. She's amazing. And we haven't talked in a minute. And so we're talking in front of you. Because what the fuck else am I doing but talking in front of you right now? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're just talking shit right now. Talking pura mierda. Ustedes <laughs> son nasty. Why are so mean? Why are you so? What was it? Why you gotta be so mean? That's a good one. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? That song was huge. What happened to Magic, y'all? Where'd they go? 
I'm gonna marry you anyway. Marry that girl. Thank you. She's great. This bitch is my recital. What am I doing? Where are these songs coming from? Guys, you know what I was thinking about earlier today? There's this song um, called, I'm gonna whip this out because this is something I was gonna do in a story and I never did it. So you know when you have moments where like, I don't know, for all of my singers out there who have moments where like you wanna sing, but you have like, and you have like a, a small little repertoire of songs that you have like on deck to like just whip out when you wanna sing, right? Whether that's like in total private, and this is, I'm talking total privacy. Um, I don't really have a repertoire from when people request it. I get all fucking weird and nervous and I'm just like, well, you wanna hear me sing, you know, and whatever. But when I'm by myself, bitch, I got a little lineup. And one of, one of the songs in my lineup, I think deserves some more recognition because I don't feel like, I don't feel like we gave it the respect it deserved. I mean, I know I gave it the respect it deserved because it's still in my head and it's still one that I whip out to like really get into when I'm feeling it. But I think it was slept on and I just, we need to have a moment for um, Baby Come Back to Me by Vanessa Hudgens. I just, period, I'm gonna say it right here, right now. Great song. And it always is in my head. So <clears throat> every day I try to play another game, but my heart can't take it. I try to find another boy, but all the while I can't face the facts. Why do I miss you so much? I want to stop this hurt inside. Oh, baby, please give us one more try. What? Baby, come back to me. Cause in my heart, I still believe we were meant to be together. So whatever it takes, baby, come back to me. I should have never set you free, my baby. Come back, baby, come back. <laughs> so, <laughs> like fucking gold, fucking gold. That chorus, please. Also, my baby Vanessa is still that bitch. Never once disappointed me. Never have I ever been disappointed by Vanessa Hudgens. Vanessa Ann Hudgens, never have I ever. Like, what a queen. Also, we did her motherfucking dirty back in the day. We need to make amends for the way that we treated that girl for stealing her private photos. Like that shit was fucking whack. The internet is whack for taking people's nude photos, obviously without their consent and then being like, you fucked up because you took nude photos. How about you fucked up because your stalker ass found my private photographs that I was clearly not for you and posted them, you fucking weirdo. How about you are the criminal? How about you are disappointing? How about you're fucked up? Stalker, weirdo, that's suspicious, that's weird. I feel like that. No, relax, bitch. <laughs> We're leaking yours next. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't take photos. <laughs> Vanessa's the shit. Anyways, what else should I do here? Can I do filters on here? Because that would be a whole next level situation. Oh, oh, oh bitch. I can do filters. I don't want to get to one that's, hold on, because if I land on a weird one, Things could get weird and I don't I don't want to have any heat like that, you know. What?
Okay, I keep thinking it's going to keep going and it didn't, so. I mean, I don't even understand why you hoes bother at this point, like. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't see glitter in your inner room either, actually. Yeah, no, I don't. No, no. And guess what, bitch? I want to see your highlights could never. No. White nose Rudolph, who? Me. Okay. 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 I wish they would have covered my pimple though. Should have this pimple should be black. So it looks like I got a mole here. Be fucked up. They fucked up. This is obviously my Becca highlighter. It goes on the best. My lips, um, they're obviously real, okay? Like, I don't know why you guys be talking shit. Obviously, I didn't get them done. I'm comfortable with myself, actually. I don't need to get my lips done. And if I did get them done, I'm a real bitch. So I would tell you about it. So don't try me, because I will embarrass you, okay? Birdie bitch. Anyways, where else can I go here? Where else are we going? Where else can we go? All right, all right. We're just, we've reached a maximum capacity here. We're getting boring. I clearly need to save some more um, filters because these are very limited, very limited filters. Guys, I don't think you've ever seen me actually like be funny on purpose. I feel like every time y'all catch me being funny, it's completely by accident, like, I really, I really be doing things on the internet that I genuinely, I'm like, I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be shady. I'm not trying to do any of those things. I just genuinely don't know things sometimes. And it's, you know, it's sad because I really feel like people are really mean to me. And it hurts me. I'm just kidding. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all anymore. I used to hurt my feelings a lot. But now it doesn't, bitch. Because what? 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 You're on the internet and you don't even have a real picture of your soul. No offense. No shade. Because I know a lot of people on here also don't have a photo of yourself. But it's okay, you know. I love you. You know, we're all going through our phases. We're all growing here. And we've all made mistakes. Let's let's just be very clear about that one as well. All right. Guys, should I post this live? Or not. Clown since oh one ninety six, honey. Get a scrape. From ninety six. I was not born in oh one. I'm a nineties baby. Okay, I had four years in the nineties. I was four years old when this fucking planet went to shit in the two thousands. Just kidding. Early two thousands were also a vibe. When T Pain was was master of the airwaves, that was the 
that was peak i think america <laughs> how do i do a poll on these things can i do a poll Is that possible? Please type in the comments. Please let me know in the comments. Tu stay happy, mommy. They're nice and shape. She got them done, but also this bitch burned my lips, so. It's not a pinball, it's a burn. You know what I mean? Like, really, bitch? Really? On my lip? On my face? You can burn me anywhere. My face. Please don't burn my face. Please don't burn my fucking face. Por favor. No me quemes la cara. <laughs> Not on life. I think you can add a poll. So. Thanks. But for nothing. Because you didn't tell me shit. You're still not telling me anything. Excuse you. I'm not being aggressive. I'm being playful, honey. Learn the difference. Say, okay, calm down. Listen, the number one thing that you want to tell somebody when you want them to actually wall out on you is calm down. Those are like fighting words. Those two words. When I, when I receive the words calm down from an individual when I am, you know, I'm not all the way not calm, but I'm clearly not calm. A calm down will get me calm, will get me all the way turned to the top notch of fuckery, actually. Um, <laughs> Mine just be me, <laughs> or that Scorpio moon, but <laughs> you calm down. You calm down. Quickly. <laughs> Slide up to get poles. Okay, I'm sliding up. No. Slide up to get your poles. Girl. I still don't have any poles left. That's, I don't even know where I went um, with that statement or jingle. It didn't make sense. All right. I'm going to call maybe one more of you and I'm going to go to fuck to bed because, you know, I was bored and I'm reaching the state of boredom where I'm too bored to even be doing this. <laughs> There's levels to this shit, babe. There's levels. Excuse you. Y'all be asking me inappropriate questions sometimes, okay? Don't try me. Don't. Try me. Don't try me, me, me. Mm. All right. All right. So if you requested me, I'm going through these right now. So I've noticed that a majority of my followers are women's and I like women's and I want ice boy Kevin. Anda pal carajo. Anda pal carajo. <laughs> Ahora yo no me esperaba esto. Como que Hola. lo está manifestando. ¿Eres no, puertorriqueño? Wow. ¿Dónde eres? Sí. Soy de Pedro. Oye, un cantito. 
Yes. ¿De qué parte? De Guaynao, which is like the most basic part, pero yeah. Pero también, you know, PR, he visto en otra isla. Yes. Mira, <laughs> en verdad estoy tan contento que me contestaste. Because I just wanted to let you know that Lento was my jam this year. Yeah. La que me. La que me. So Alegría. good. So good. That makes me so happy, baby. Yes. Mira, y cuando vienes para acá. Yo quiero ir para allá. Hace, hace tiempo que no voy para allá. Y esto, estuve ahí el año pasado, en, en, en enero, por unos cuantos días. Pero tengo que regresar. Tienes razón. Okay. Pero también para, para hacer un show, you know what I'm saying? Like, sí, mira. Necesario. Está, abrió nuevo el Coca-Cola Music Hall. It's like a smaller venue, pero it's so good. Y no ha abierto todavía. De, cuando iba a abrir, empezó la pandemia. Wow. Pero va a ser un sitio tan bueno to go and have shows. Great ¿En acoustics. Dónde? ¿En, en, en, dónde en San estás? Juan. En San Juan, ok. Yeah, so good. So, ok, bueno. Gracias por avisarme. No. What's it called? Coca-Cola Stadium? Coca-Cola Music Hall. Music Hall, ok. Y si vienes para PR, hay que janguear. Porque hay que janguear. I think we can vibe so fucking well. Y la vamos I a partir. I can feel it. I can feel it through the camera. Yes. Me encanta. Ya sé, ya sé. ¿Ese es tu cuarto? Sí. Ok. Because I have like all my vinyls here. Yes, vinyls. Ok, we got a collection. Uy, se me salió, se me salió lo de fanática. No, pero me encanta, me encanta. Espero que. I, I can't wait until my vinyl's up there with you. Loki, because we support her. We yeah, out oh, here. Yeah. Yes, she's a good one. Loki, she's like teal colored, so cute. Sí, esa foto también espectacular. Una de las Yo por aquí tengo el otro, es que son muchos. I saw está? Ariana up there, I saw Billy. Girl, you got the other Ooh. one. Yes! We got honey. a final collection, honey. Honey, she snapped with this one. Como que... You know, she fucking snapped. I agree. Literal. Literal! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Aquí que janguear o algo, please. En verdad. Tiene que pasar, tiene que pasar. Hacho, sí. Tu, tu vibra bien cabrona, so. Gracias, mi amor. Igual, desde aquí, te lo, lo siento. Thank you. En verdad, ¿cómo estás? ¿Y tu no, nombre qué? Kevin. 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 Kevin del Pilar. Kevin. Yes. En verdad, está hablando con la otra muchacha ahorita de cómo 2020 has been growth, and I feel that so hard, because it's, it's been a tough year, but I've, I've grown so much, and I've learned so much about myself, sí. so it has been really amazing. Te entiendo, en serio. Eso para mí, ha sido, eso ha sido este año para mí, sentándome aquí y absorbando todo, todo lo que ha pasado, procesando todo lo que ha pasado en mi vida. Right. O sea, porque yo siempre estoy corriendo y corriendo, corriendo. O sea, la vida entera es así. Todo el mundo está corriendo y siempre estamos en algo, teniendo que hacer algo. Y no procesamos <risa> nada. Y en eso es donde viene la ansiedad, donde viene la depresión, donde viene todas esas cosas con cual yo me identificaba tanto. Uh -huh. Y es como que ya este año me enseñó que no me tengo que identificar con esas cosas y puedo como que, puedo lograr ese poder de ser de, de entre sí misma, me, de entre sí misma, ¿me entiendes? Yeah. En, vez de, en vez de necesitar la validación de, del, del mundo o de, de cualquiera persona, en serio, porque hasta familia, hasta, hasta amigos, o sea, todo el mundo estaba en su vida este año tan como que uno se pone esa presión to please everyone cuando Exacto. realmente tú haces las cosas para ti uno hace el arte para uno 100% 100% es importante es súper importante y esa esa como que like digesting the lesson you know what I'm saying because it's like one of those things that que tú sabes you know tú, tú vas pasando la vida y tú sabes que lo tienes que procesar tú, tú sabes que no te puedes identificar con estas cosas pero también como nunca te da tiempo sientas en eso y es lo que es, you know. Que no se envuelve en las cosas y en el corre del día a día. Pero es que la pandemia nos puso una pausa y fue como que tienes que sentarte, pensar, aprender de los errores, tomar las lecciones. Pero como que no just learn them, pero work on them y... Internalizing. Like, them. Yep. Completamente. 100%. 100%. Yeah. You're so cute. 
Gusto conocerte, mi amor. Espero que nos vemos prontito en Puerto Rico. Sí, por favor. Lo que te lleva a los mejores sitios para janguear, para comer rico. Oh my God, because I'm such a foodie. O sea, eso es obligado. Cuando vas para allá afuera, vas a comer rico. Literal. Así que un besote, mil gracias por llamarme. Gracias, papi. Buenas noches. Bye. Bye. I love Kevin. Kevin was so cute. Y ya le vas a colgar. Sí, I'm sorry. Voy a, voy a hablar con más gente. Esa, esa tipa con quien yo estaba hablando era una amiga mía, por eso estábamos hablando por tanto tiempo. Perdón que pasó enfrente de ustedes en vez de en mi privacidad. Pero también estoy haciendo este live, así que tú metes lo que yo te doy, ¿no? La energía boricua, puñeta. I love Puerto Rico, man. I love you guys. I love y'all. Ok. ¿Una más? Una más. 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 ¿Qué más? Voy para acá. Tu, 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 tu. See my requests. Looking in to the requests. Let me see. Let's see. Me preguntaste si me gusta la salsa. Obvio, de cubana. Hello. 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 Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Hi, Lauren. Hi. I don't believe in you. <laughs> I'm from Brazil. You from Brazil? Hi. What part? Of I'm from Brazil? Brazil. I'm from Brazil. In que parte? What part? Oh, you do, you don't you know we 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 live. Where? I can't understand you, and I can't understand you too. <laughs> I this is so cute. I literally, I can't see. Where you are? I'm sorry, I don't understand English and not Spanish. Okay, where are you? Are you supposed where to be sleeping are right me? now? What? Are you supposed to be sleeping right now? I feel like you got, you're in a sleeping zone right now. Hable español conmigo, por favor. What? <laughs> Listen. I love I'm you. sorry. I love you too. I love you so much. I love you more. We are going to see each other soon at some point okay. in our lives. Okay? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> One day Bye. I see your face. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Some of y'all are hilarious. First of all, I love that she's saying back to me a first and definitely something that needs to happen more often. What's happening? That was literally what I was thinking. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Are we in the dark? Is she supposed to be asleep? Is she under 12? Who knows? We don't know. We don't know anything. Okay, guys. Should I or should I not do one more? Why am I still doing this? I don't even know why the fuck I'm still here, to be honest. So You guys are kind of entertaining, though. When I have something to talk about, because a bitch does not be talking like, you know, this much. It also takes a lot to get like this personality out of me. Just kidding. If you really know me in real life, I'm this bitch at all times. But for the internet, for the internet, 
wanted to experience me is very rare. Because I don't like the internet. We're not friends. Sometimes we're friends, but sometimes we're not friends. Sometimes we're very not friends. I deleted my Twitter again, by the way. That fucking bird app is a mess. That's <laughs> such a fucking mess. I can't handle the amount of insecure ass motherfuckers on that site. It's just overwhelming. Like, I don't actually need you to bombard me with insults that you're projecting from your own <laughs> insecurities. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I want to be surrounded by love and positivity at all times, okay? Not in, like, a um, toxic positivity type of way where, like, you know, only peace and love and light at all times. But also, like, yeah, I'm going to curate peace and love and light around me. And blocking you guys is too satisfactory for you. I don't want to give you that power either. <laughs> so it's just a deuces. Bye bye for now. I'll be back when I got even more music. Twitter is a whole riot. It is a literal riot in in video in like digital format. Like people just say the craziest things out of their complete and total necks. Like, shit that I know a bitch could never say in person. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it'll be the same bitch that says some crazy shit to you on Twitter that she's you in person and is like, are you Lorna Reggae? Mm-hmm. Yes, bitch. Yes, I am. And you are on the internet talking to celebrities. Imagine. Imagine the existence of that i can't i can but i also really can't I like to insult them you know what i mean i get it if you love somebody and you're like oh, i love you and like you're like fucking with them and you're supporting them it's super dope but if you're literally going on the internet making a, an account that doesn't even have your face on it to insult people all day long like yikes yo like <laughs> calm down eat a cucumber man relax eat some fruit it was gonna be my continued line because i know they hate that line too uh eat fruit make sure your pussy doesn't stink your ph baby mind your ph mind your ph <laughs> it has everything to do with your energy baby everything I, I'm out. It was a lovely time. I kept 10,000 of you here pretty consistently. So cheers to us, guys. Cheers to us having nothing better to do at 11.30 p.m. Good night. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you do a Valley Girls accent? Of course, I can do a Valley Girls accent. That's actually like one of my best ones because I lived in Los Angeles for such a long time. And I guess I kind of just go for like a Kardashian kind of vibe. But also every girl that I meet in LA pretty much looks like a Kardashian or wants to look like a Kardashian and definitely tries to talk like a Kardashian. Mm, even if it doesn't manifest them Kardashian money. So crazy. But, you know, we're all just people trying to be ourselves, right? Anyways, I love you. And I'm done with impersonations. And I'm done with this live now. I've reached my maximum capacity of energy exchange. So I love you. I think I've said that enough times. Buenas noches. Te amo. I don't think I'm going to save this live, by the way. So I hope somebody recorded it or something. Or convinced me to save it. You have three seconds to convince me to save it. Three, two, one.